you're a decade or two past menopause. So does that mean you're past needing some of your annual exams? Not necessarily. Dr. Jill Scheide is here to clarify what steps female seniors still need to take no matter what their age. Dr. Scheide is the radiology department um, at the Breast Center at Metro Health. <laughs> That's a mouthful there. So, um, so age doesn't exempt you from your annual exams. No, actually, the older you are, the higher your risk, your risk of developing breast cancer. So it's still really important to continue to follow three steps particularly. Okay. Um, so you want to do um, annual or, um, monthly self-breast exams. Um, you want to have an annual breast exam performed by your physician. And then you want to have an annual screening mammogram. Okay, so three steps to go. Let's talk yeah. about them each one at a time. Okay. First, self-breast exams. Right. So the self-breast exam, um, it's great to do it once a month and it's really good if you can try to do it around the same time every month. So uh, per particularly for patients, it's good to remember maybe the first day of each month. And you want to feel for any lumps, bumps, anything new or different or changing. And you want to look in the mirror to see if there's any skin dimpling or any redness too. Okay. The second topic is the annual exam by your physician. Correct, correct. So with your um, monthly self-breast exams, you're used to what your breasts normally feel like. Um, with your physician, they can also feel for lumps or bumps, but since they um, check for different breast tissue anyway, they can sometimes tell if there's something that maybe you missed along the way or didn't notice along the way. Okay. The, do you have to go to a gynecologist for that, or can you go to your regular doctor, or is there any preference? Either one is okay. Some people prefer to go to just their regular physician. Some people prefer their OBGYN. Some people are already following up with a breast health person, maybe um, a breast surgeon or something. Any of those are fine. So as long as you have it done, exactly. it's the important <laughs> part of it. So, <laughs> all right. So then, in addition to those two tests, there is also the mammogram. Correct. Which yeah. Those of us in the category of having to have those every year, <laughs> so pleased to think about every year. <laughs> I know some people have trouble with them, but it's really important that you have them. Um, it, it can pick up cancers that are not detectable by palpation, so you don't really feel a lump or bump with them. You just see them on imaging. Um, and with uh, mammography, we have 2D mammograms, which are the standard mammograms. Um, at Metro Health, we also have 3D mammography, which is also known as tomosynthesis. And with tomosynthesis, it actually takes images through the breast, so it can help us find cancers that might have been hidden by overlying breast tissue. Is the 3D version more comfortable than the 2D <laughs> version? <laughs> I don't know if it's more comfortable necessarily, but if, if, <laughs> if someone does find it uncomfortable, if they take an analgesic, um, say a leave or Tylenol an hour beforehand, um, usually people find that it does help. Good so, tip, good tip. That'll yeah. help a lot of people today. <laughs> And any of these exams, if there is a lump or there's something else going on, you know, what's the next step? Um, they would want to contact their physician if they haven't already contacted them, um, just to make sure that they get appropriate follow-up. Um, and it's really important to have early detection of breast cancer, so that's why you want to make sure you follow those three steps. Okay. Do you usually end up going to then, like you mentioned, a breast care specialist or surgeon right. or something like that? Right. It depends on what the uh, person who refers someone for a mammogram feels comfortable with. If they feel comfortable just dealing with it themselves, all the results themselves, that's fine. But sometimes they feel more comfortable sending someone to a breast health specialist. So who's Either used way. to dealing with that every day. Right, so. right. So <laughs> it's just a matter of comfort level. Okay. Yeah. Well, now you're never too old to take care of your health, no matter what your age. Follow Dr. Shida's tips to protect the health of your breasts. And for more information, give Metro Health a call. The number's coming up next. To learn more, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or visit www.metrohealth.org. Next, we'll single out the Medicaid Maximum Asset Rules.